to Shine Like the Sun. I'm Sean, and since you're already here, spring has sprung, and we are in dire need of spring to spring into this playroom. Right now, it is just in its foundation state. So basically, just the furniture, no toys, no books, no decorative, seasonal, holiday type of decor, just its neutral foundation and this is kind of like a blank canvas for me. So I'm gonna show you guys how we reset this area. Toy rotation, new additions, um, decorating the reading nook to go with the season and the upcoming holidays. So that's always super fun. And just basically show you guys the importance to me of having such a blank, uh, not blank, but such a neutral foundation because you can kind of just do whatever you want to do with it and customize it to your liking. And even when you don't have all the decor and stuff up, it can still serve as a functional place. And um, basically you control the stimulation of your environment. So yeah, let's get started. Hopefully this is really fun because I love it already. And I already even started yet. So initially we had the dollhouse up here and these two units were flushed together, but I decided to put the dollhouse here and I love the symmetry that it adds. It also just makes this area so much more cohesive. And of course now the boys can easily access whatever I'm going to place into this dollhouse shelving unit. Okay guys, so with this rotation, I just want to add the boys favorite toys. This is one of Kyan's favorite toys. And right now they are loving these dump trucks. They are able to take them outside and put them in water. So they absolutely love these trucks right now. So I'm just gonna place them there since it's been a hot commodity. And then this is also a playroom favorite. So we are going to put these three toys on this side. Then coming on over to the middle, I kind of want to add the new toys. The dollhouse is in a new position, so it is going to draw a lot of attraction to this shelving unit. And we are into pretend play. So first up, we have this wooden type of coffee maker Keurig situation. Then we're going to add this love every toy. And this is more for my youngest son. Um, definitely a fine motor skill type toy, but it also goes with the season. We have these little bunnies and we're just going to put that there oh, don't move then a another favorite from that love of Re collection for my youngest will be this little carrot activity so we are just gonna put this here we are going to partially set the toy up and then just kind of let the rest of the carrots hang here and then last but not least another toy for my oldest son, like I said, we've been into pretend play. This is a little toaster, so cute. And it comes with two little toasts. It also comes with butter, plates, eggs, um, lettuce, tomato to make a breakfast sandwich. So we're just gonna place that there. And that's gonna be the middle arrangement for the boys. <laughs> and then lastly, in this corner, I am going to just put some toys over here that I want them to interact with more. So this has always been out. So this is mainly here for decorative purposes, but also I got some new balls for this. So instead of having all the tiny little balls that initially went with it, they'll have some bigger balls now. So I think it'll make it a lot more fun for them instead of them trying to keep track of the little small balls. Then this was usually in Kyan's room. They always wanted to go in his room and play with that. So now I'm just going to put it here in the playroom. So now it's more accessible and it is definitely a educational toy as well. And then of course, like the other side, I love symmetry. So we're going to just add a, another vehicle here. They have definitely been interested in this one just as much as the other one because there's two of them and I have to have two of just about everything. But yeah, this is another fun favorite toy for them. And that is going to be the setup for so now we are going to move over to this side of the room and kind of just place some toys on top of this storage unit 
We are gonna add these Love Every Toys over here. Um, I love the color palette. It just screams spring to me. Plus they are very interactive toys. So the boys can, you know, take these off. They can stack them on the outer edge and then be able to stack them back on top of here. Then we have this puzzle. It is kind of like a garden puzzle. You have carrots, uh, lettuce, a uh, little shovel. So we're going to place that there. This one is another favorite. I actually used to keep that in my youngest one's room, but in this rotation, we are going to bring it in here to play with. So that's also a sacking toy. And then of course, being able to put the little pegs back in their place on the base piece. Then we have this car ramp and it comes with two little cards and that's what's going right here. Also, this also is not very tall. I am about 5'3", and it comes to here, so the boys are easily able to take these off and play with them on the floor however they please. Um, so this is all I'm going to be placing here. It brings in a lot of color, and I don't want to mumble up too much on this storage locker and just make it overwhelming. So this is perfect. This is how I'm going to set it up for them so that they can kind of just want to interact with it when they see it and kind of do their own type of approach. This is what the reading nook is currently looking like. Like I said, I want to bring this room to life and just kind of add a lot of seasonal decor. So we're going to start with those flowers up there and then some cute little bunnies. So we're just going to stand these bunnies up here. We have yellow green a pink and this blue one and it's just perfect for that little shelf and then of course it is spring so uh april shower springs may flowers and then with all those showers we get rainbows so i think that this is perfect for these shelves here so i took the boys to um the library to um, Target and of course Amazon and we came up with this collection for our seasonal library so the way of choosing these books was basically up to them whatever was drawn to their attention this one was actually given to us by our pediatrician and other than that this is basically what the boys wanted and what they were interested in Pete the cat for the win as always and then my youngest one of course picked out little felt books and most of them are board books except for Pete the Cat and some interactive books and they have been loving them so yeah let's get them up here This is all of the books. And I also um, said before that I switched over to displaying their books like this, less books, just more inviting, not too much. And they can easily place them back where they got them from. So just a better, cleaner look. And it is super beneficial to the boys. This has been working perfectly. They grab it, put it back, and they basically clean up so much better and are drawn to the area more with their books like this. How fun are these pillows? I got them off of Amazon and I don't know what this little thing is from Ikea, but I believe it's a bunny. It has ears, it has this little tail, but it just was a cute neutral pillow. So I grabbed it anyways, but I'm assuming it's a bunny. So Mr. Bunny can just move on over to the side and we are going to let these pillows shine over here actually get out of here bunny we're gonna let these pillows shine in this corner so there's various sizes the blue one is the largest then the white one then the green one is the smallest i believe but they just tie the area in so well so this is all i'm doing to this area it adds just enough character just enough fun just enough excitement to this corner 
So along with the toaster and the coffee maker, I also got them this little mixer and it actually comes with a bowl. So it comes with a bowl and an egg and a lot of other accessories, but I'm just gonna put this there. And then they also have this blender, which is also super cute. And it came with, where is it at, where is it at? And then the blender came with a lot of half um, fruit. So it has a Velcro in the middle where they can attach it and make it whole. But they have a pear, an apple. There's also a banana and some ice cubes for them to put in the blender and make smoothies. So once again, my youngest is really into present play and he absolutely loves all of these little appliances and they go so well. And we're just gonna put these here. I still do not have a faucet for this sink, but that's okay. I also bought a fridge for the kitchen area, but as most of you all know, we are moving. So I am just gonna save that project for the next house because it is gray and natural wood and I kind of wanna spray paint it or paint the gray color white. And that's just a project I don't have time for right now, but um, I'm definitely going to do it and kind of just customize their kitchen area more. But for right now, this will do. The Sankless Kitchen with new appliances will do because the boys don't even complain. They still play with it. Lastly, of course, we're just going to add the cleaning supplies. And then this is by Melissa and Doug as well. So this is always a staple in the room. They usually come upstairs and just bring it downstairs. So eventually I might relocate this downstairs because when I'm sweeping, they want to sweep. Um, so yeah, I'll probably end up just taking the broom and the dustpan downstairs. So if you are a Nugget fan, you know they just came out with their new Coastal Collection. They have a new double brush blue Nugget, which is called Surfside, and then a new double brush beige nugget which is called dune buggy it pulls a very gray tone in my space it looks more of like a khaki uniform color but downstairs in the living room and outside it pulls a true beige like it's like a shade darker than these curtains when it's not in this room and that's okay because we won't be in here forever but y'all this color is absolutely stunning i'll post a picture of how it looks in the other room so you can kind of get an idea of what i'm trying to explain but yeah this is a softer brighter tone nugget compared to the sandcastle one that i had in here which is a very mustardy uh golden type of nugget so i just wanted to give it a fresh look and this one reminds me of linen so when you think linen you think spring you think fresh so i definitely wanted to add dune buggy here for that effect and it is perfect of course the boys don't care what color it is they just want to jump all over it and, and then since the little bunny doesn't have anywhere to go we're just going to place him up here as well and then we're also going to just go ahead and add their wobble board there and that is that's just about it okay so that is all we are going to do with our space and i think it is literally just enough there is enough touches in each area of the room um i explained why i picked the toys that i did put out for toy rotation and then in another video i already talked about the benefits and why i do toy rotations so i'm just going to add a card up here for that video and i really 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 love how this turned out i love the reading nook i definitely love the different um color palettes in the room that just makes it exciting after a dormant winter you think of flowers blooming and stuff so that's my idea with the toys especially on this side then of course just adding their favorites over here as you can see this side is definitely more brighter but that's because i want a balanced room this side is more civilized but i know they'll spend more time over here simply because their favorites are over there but yeah that is the gist of thing that i thank you all for sticking around with me as i babbled about this playroom this is truly my happy space and i'm so happy that you guys enjoy with me as well but we are running out of time of being in this playroom. Like I said, we're moving halfway across the country. So eventually we will be unfunning this space. 
So definitely stick around for what is new and ahead of us. I have so many ideas I want to bring to life. Oh my gosh, Pinterest is probably sick of me. But anywho, thank you all. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video.